What's up guys, I'm here to uh, today to talk about this 1970 240Z here. We got Fair Lady Z from Japan here in our shop at CB Auto Innovations just to uh, do a project video on getting this bad boy started before um, before we get it tore apart so we can just see what we're working with here and show you guys the process of some of the stuff it takes for a full auto body restoration. So. Alright, starting with the back of the car here, it seems pretty decent. All across the back here, we got some little cracking going on. And uh, somebody's decided to color match and paint this whole rear valance area. We're gonna have to, gonna have to do something about that. But um, how cool is this factory Nissan Spore from Japan, man? That's I'm excited about that. The customer found some rust up in these wheel wells and. Um, you know, I don't know how extensive we're going to get in here, but I'm pretty sure we'll end up replacing this outside skin, maybe parts of the inner wheel well. But check out the right hand drive, Japanese. We're going to have this thing gutted completely apart in the next couple of days here, and um, got all kind of issues with the paint bubbling up, and I'm sure some rust through at the bottom of those doors there, but. Overall, it's a good car. It's a good solid car. Already got the carbon fiber hood we'll be keeping. I think we're gonna replace these headlight buckets with some carbon fiber headlight buckets to match. The overall vibe of the car is so beautiful. The JDM Fairlady mirrors already on it. I think the customer is going to swap the the factory L20 engine for a later later model L28 fuel injected, but um, you know, a little bit more power. I think he's sticking with the triple carbs though, so it should be really cool. Here's where our biggest problem lies in this quarter area here. This customer already started cutting it out for those fender flares and run into this extensive previous Bondo work and all this hacked up mess from the you know years of corrosion have to fix all that with some inner and outer quarter panels but overall really decent car definitely get rid of the automatic and put in the um manual four speed but here's what we're working with. I just want to kind of give a before video and, um, you know, I want, to, I want everybody to stay up to date on the builds and progress as we go on here. And check out the back. Back here we have another Series 1 1970 US model that we've been working on for a couple of years now. And um, got the speed hut gauges. Redone seats, Motorsport Auto consoles. Got the Rebello 2.7 kit with the redone SU carbs, vintage air. It's gonna be a really sweet car. <clears throat> dusty right now though so it's just some of the work we do here at bright auto um cbai hope you guys will stay tuned for progress and um updates as we go along sport bikes 66 f100 in progress <clears throat> we 
but yeah stay tuned guys I, um, I'm excited for for progress in the very near future here what's up guys just a short clip here of um, day one destruction on this little fair lady Z we've got the engine transmission out went ahead and cut this upper tie bar as you can see we're going to do a uh, a really nice job of of making that thing bolt in and out be a lot stronger than the factory and more accessible for the engine removal and installation process so um just one of the few things kind of like to reinforce these rails as we go back together we'll do a bit of chassis modification and work on this thing to make it just a little bit better than the factory <laughs> 